Hey y'all, welcome back. I still have brassicas to plant. They're starting to get a little stressed. You can see they're kind of yellow. Definitely ready to get out of these small containers, but I'm out of garden space. So we're gonna do some container gardening today. I have large flower pots. I have some of the bucket containers that some trees have come in, fruit trees. And then I have just regular five gallon buckets. They do have holes in the bottom of them, so they're gonna have drainage and they're gonna be great containers to plant these brassicas in. Brassicas have a pretty shallow root system, but they need a pretty big space. So these containers are gonna be perfect for that. So this is an easy, straightforward process. We're just gonna fill these up with dirt and some composted manure. Planting in plastic that containers. Is a lot of dirt. It is a lot of dirt, but it's a big container. I take the plant out of the cup. Okay. Very good. All right. Let's see. Here. Can you have a water? Look at this root ball. This thing is way past time to get it out of there. We can loosen it up just a tad. All right. Okay. Can you hold it up while I put the dirt around it? Oh, it's still there. Perfect. Very good. Alright, there's our first one. All done. Pick out another plant while I mix this one up. So you can see how this leaf is starting to turn purple. I'm betting it's going to perk right up though. amazingly resilient though so even though they're starting to look sad I am thinking that with some watering they're gonna be excited I think the reason a lot of these look a little stunted is because they ran out of room it does look cute in there doesn't it now we're gonna have to find a place to put it where the chickens won't get it you can find a place like that. Yeah. Oops. The same thing with this one because it's a little leggy. I'm gonna just gonna give it a little bit of extra dirt up around it. But I think it'll be fine. And same thing here. It's a little bit, a little leggy. Gets a little extra dirt. So on this one, you can see that this leaf looks a little pitiful. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna snap that off because it has. Plenty of other leaves too. This one looks pretty No, that one looks pretty good. It's green at least. This one, you wanna go give it to the chickens? Yeah. Okay, thank you. But that way the plant is not expending energy on the damaged leaf. And it'll it'll bounce right back. Oh, we gotta hurry, it's starting to sprinkle. So when you pull them out of there, just kind of loosen their roots a little bit. It's pretty, pretty tightly wound. We want it to know it can stretch them out now. Alright, there's that one. This is going to have an added advantage of I can put it in the shade when it gets too hot. So you're going to want to really pay attention to the moisture levels in these, they're gonna be more likely to dry out faster since they're in containers. Um, pest load, I honestly don't know if the pest load is greater when they're in containers. Other than that, I fully expect these things to make some nice cabbages and broccolis for us. 
and uh, Lord willing we'll be harvesting those about mid-May so as always if you like what you see go ahead and hit the thumbs up button subscribe and then hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything thanks for watching what is it what does it smell like hmm what is that